Hello my YouTube beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an Anna Kendrick makeup tutorial. I get told they look like Anna Kendrick probably once a week and it's super random. They'll be like, ha have you ever gotten Anna Kendrick before? Like, is, is that a name that you know? And I'm like, yeah, and they're like, you look just like her. And I'm like, I figured that it was time to sit down and finally do a makeup tutorial based on something that she has worn in a picture and see the comparison. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're interested in seeing how I transform into Anna Kendrick, please keep watching. So first we are going to go in with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And while we're letting that sit, we are going to do eyebrows real quick. I'm gonna use the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer, and this is in soft brown. And Anna definitely does have more fluttery and not nearly as full brows. I'm gonna make them as thin as possible, if that's possible. Okay, well that's about as thin as they gon' get. So next we are going to use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And let's actually put my hair back, because I forgot to do that. So Anna actually is rocking a very neutral look in this photo and it is definitely more on the cool side. So I'm gonna take this this Makeup Forever palette and it's the, it's just the normal neutral one. And here's what the colors look like. I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and just put this color in my crease. I do want to build it up a little bit, so I'm gonna take the Too Faced The Naturals Matte Palette. This is what this one looks like. I am going to take this shade called Cashmere Bunny and just throw that in the crease as well. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but this little section on these little palettes, like, it comes out and it has a mirror. How cool is that? You definitely want to keep this on the outer V and crease area only. So that's about as much as we want to do for the crease, just to give it a little bit more of a, more of depth and more dimension. And as you can see, they're pretty dark because she does rock a more of a sultry, full-toned look in this picture. So next she has this white ice kind of eyeshadow on her lids and actually underneath her lower lash line as well. So I'm gonna take this L'Oreal Fallible Eyeshadow in Iced Latte. As you can see, this is a very um, cool toned kind of white icy color. Next we're gonna go in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper, and this is going to be smudged out near the end um, with some black eyeshadow. So we, we are gonna be a little bit harsh with it on the eyelid, but then once we flick it out a little bit, it's going to be a little bit more faded and look more of like a shadow effect. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Oh God, I don't know if I can. And she does bring it definitely more towards the inner of her eye. So next we're gonna flick out the winged liner a little bit, but we are going to smudge it out after with a black eyeshadow, just to give it more of like a sultry, smoky effect rather than the sharp wing line. Okay, I'm nervous. <laughs> the mirror is literally 
three feet away from my face. So, but we're gonna try. So once you have a little, tiny little wing drawn, um, her wing is pretty minimal. So we don't wanna bring it out too far. We do have that line drawn. We're gonna let it sit and dry just for a couple seconds so that we don't smudge it too much. I think I'm just gonna use this black eyeshadow from that Makeup Forever palette. And just grab a slanted eyeliner brush. I don't know if you can tell, but it is making it a little less harsh. And don't worry, we can go back in and clean this up. That's why we didn't do our foundation first. See how that doesn't look as sharp and it just looks a little bit more smoky? This MAC eyeshadow in Shroom just on the tops, like right under our eyebrow. just to bring a little bit of a lifted appearance. Next, we're gonna take the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and prime our face with that just cause she does have more of a dewy uh, base underneath her foundation. Now, in the picture, Anna does have a more of a mattifying base just around her T-zone, and so, and just the outsides of her face are very dewy. I'm gonna use this Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer in the Smoothing Primer. Let me go dampen my beauty blender and I'll be right back. So now that my beauty blender is dampened, we are gonna take this with the True Match L'Oreal Lumi Cushion Foundation and I'm in N2. Does anyone go to the Home and Garden Show? We're going today for the first time. I've never been. So I'm interested to see like what it is. I'm scared I'm gonna want to buy a house and renovate all of it and put all new furniture in it. This foundation and like with the Beauty Blender, I do find that you kind of have to go over spots that are a little bit more red. So like for example, right here. Okay, I think I'm a dewy goddess now. I'm gonna take the Naked Skin Weightless, I don't even know the whole name to this, but it's Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. Naked Concealer. I'm not saying all that. And I am in light neutral. I'm gonna conceal my under eye area. Every time I do this, I feel like I look like a tribal woman, you know, with like things going on in my face. I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Paris Magic Lumi highlighter and just put that on top. Oh my gosh, is this the same color? Well, whatever. I am just going to blend that out with my Real Complexion, Real Techniques Complexion sponge, which I call a beauty blender because they're the same thing. I have not done my under eyes yet, but that's just kind of like left over from last night. We went to dinner for Valentine's Day, and we are just going to set that with the RCMA No Color Powder. You've heard of Kathleen Lights, you've heard of this powder. It took so long for me to get my hands on this powder because it was always sold out. And the people at Beautylish are so sweet. They text you and, and they're like, hey Kate, are you still interested in the beauty powder? Because it is in stock, so go buy it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so nice. Like, you don't have to recheck or check your email or, and it's like real customer service. I'm just very happy with, with the customer service I got from Beautylish. So I will be going back, definitely. I'm gonna set the rest of my face, kind of. I'm gonna leave some parts a little bit more dewy than others, but my forehead is creasing and that's a no-no. I feel like I'm getting an arm workout every time I use this powder. You have to like go like this to get it out. You know? 
Who needs the gym when you can just shake your RCMA powder? Now, I know that my face looks matte, but here, when I'm done with this tutorial, it will not. So it'll go back to the dewiness that it needs to be. Anna uses the smallest amount of contour on her cheeks. She is not using any sort of anything other than contouring. So I'm going to take the Hoola bronzer and this e.l.f. flats little chisel cheek brush. Whoops. <laughs> Good thing this is easy to blend out. Now in this picture, she does have a very like rosy pink peachy cheek. So I'm gonna take the Makeup Geek uh, Blush in Spellbound. Kind of put that on, just lightly put that on my face. And before we jump back to getting underneath the eyes, I'm gonna take ColourPop's uh, Super Cheek, that's not the word. Super shock cheek in lunch money. Going back to the under eyes, we are going to take the same eyeshadow that's on our lids right now. This is Ice Latte, the L'Oreal infallible one. We're just gonna take a flat definer brush right here and just put that right underneath our lash line, just as we did on our upper eyelid. You know what? I don't know if this is gonna show up. Well, that's better. Actually, I'm gonna use this one in the Makeup Forever palette and see if that shows up a little bit more. I have a feeling it will. All right, well, that's definitely making it come up a little bit more. So all I did was just add white to the bottom inner half of my eye. And to do that, I used a mix of this, this, and this. I'm just gonna take this black in the Makeup Forever palette and just start matching it with the liner and having that fade to the outside a little bit. From what I can tell, Anna just has her normal lashes on. I don't think she has any falsies. Okay, then we're just gonna take a black eyeliner. Any black eyeliner will, look, will work. I'm gonna take the Marc Jacobs one. For lips, I'm just gonna take this ColourPop Lippy Stick in Brink. I'm just gonna take this Smashbox lip gloss. I don't know what color it's in. Coral, Coraline, I think is what it's called. So that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I do get told that I look like Anna Kendrick probably once a week. So I figured it was time to sit down and try and do maybe a look-alike makeup tutorial based on one of her photos. Please subscribe if you have not already. I hope you have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!